Ryan needs the help of his local food bank. He says a mental health condition means he can't work. But as the cost of living crisis gets worse, he says the money he gets isn't enough to live on. Things have been quite tricky for me recently due to being on benefits. I'm on universal credit, um, which has made me realise that I'm now having to choose which bill I'm going to pay or which bill I'm not going to pay to put food on my table. Boris Johnson had committed to raising benefits in line with inflation, but Liz Truss seems less sure, and that's angered those working on the front line of this crisis. I think it's really important that benefits increase at the same rate of inflation. The people that we are getting through this door here, the elderly, the young people, um, disabled people, they are suffering huge stress. That stress is manifesting itself into illnesses. Some people are disabled. They literally have to make choices as to whether they can put food on their table or turn their lighting on. And to, to, to think that they can survive on anything less than an increase that matches the rate of inflation really is just... The government's out of touch with the people who are suffering in this country. It's understood that Downing Street is considering increasing universal credit in line with average earnings instead of inflation, and that would mean a real-term cut for claimants. Tory MPs are worried about the message this sends to voters at a time of hardship for millions. What we don't need is a disruptor. What we need is a unifier. And I think probably that the new Prime Minister has, has realised that over the last few weeks. And whereas I, fully, I am fully on board with an agenda for growth, we also have to be very careful that we don't throw, and I've said this so many times before, the baby out with the bathwater. Senior Tories leapt to defend the Prime Minister, aware that the Conservatives are plummeting in the polls. We'll always be on the side of those households that need the most help, but until we have the process complete at DWP, no decision has been made on the universal credit, um, uh, on the benefits operation. Labour now surging ahead in the polls have accused the government of placing the burden on low-income families, all in the name of wider economic growth. What we've got is a reckless approach, a spike in borrowing costs, and now the government, as we understand it, are talking about asking working mums and dads, disabled people, poorer pensioners, to pay the price for that recklessness. The Department for Work and Pensions will start their annual review into benefits later this month. As part of that, they'll look at the rising cost of living to figure out just how much benefits might be lagging behind. This could be a critical turning point in how the government is seen to be helping those most in need as the cost of living crisis deepens. Nick Martin, Sky News.